Hi everybody, today I am reviewing three magnetic mount speakers. They can be used on the golf course or the job site. We have the Magolfin F30, the Pilsimus CYB X3S, and the Shellhome SP003. These speakers all have magnetic mounts. They're all about the same size. Which one should you buy? This is the Shell Home SP003. It has three mounting options. Tabletop mount, where you're just setting it on its edge. The carabiner mount, where you're hanging it from something. Or the magnetic mount, where you're attaching this to a metal surface. The carabiner is removable, so if this is not your mounting option of preference, you can simply remove it and you'll just have this little rubber ring on the edge. The edge of the SP003 is covered in a ridged piece of rubber. If you are a tactile person like me, you will find this ridge very satisfying to touch. The Shell Home SP003 has what I consider to be a design flaw, albeit a common design flaw, and that is the black on black controls. They are basically unlabeled unless you have some kind of magnification and high lighting involved, but there's just real usability problems with this design. This speaker has dual 10 watt 40 millimeter drivers for a total of 20 watts. If that's not enough for you, you can take two of these speakers and wirelessly connect them together with TWS mode. That's true wireless stereo. If you do that, you will have 20 watts left and 20 watts right for a total of 40 watts. The SP003 has a 3000 milliamp hour battery. That should be good for 30 hours of playback at 60% volume. If you think that 60% volume is too much of a limitation, consider that the drivers only sound good to about 60% volume. After that, the high frequencies start to sound harsh and the louder it goes, the worse it gets. The SP003 doesn't have it doesn't have any deep bass. It just can't reproduce it. Regular bass sounds fine. I would say this speaker sounds best for rock and roll music. Beneath this rubber plug, we have the access ports. There is a USB-C charging port and a three and a half millimeter auxiliary input port. Now, despite this having a rubber plug here, that is not an indication that this is waterproof. It is IPX6 water resistant should stand up to rain and splashes, but don't submerge the speaker in water. If hands-free calling is a feature that is important to you, you will be happy to hear that the SP001 has a decent hands-free calling feature. The person you're talking to sounds good, you sound good to the person you're talking to. It's, uh, it's actually one of the better speakers I've tried in that regard. Whenever I have a speaker with a magnetic mount, I test it on a metal surface just to see how strong the magnet is. And I can confirm that the magnet is actually really good. It is unlikely to dislodge accidentally. I am going to give the Shell Home SP003 a three out of five star rating. Its biggest issues are the black on black, barely readable and usable controls and the quality issues it has at high volumes in certain frequencies. Like I said before, this speaker is decent for rock and roll. If that's what you want to listen to, I am not going to try to talk you out of this speaker. This is the Pilsimus CYB X3S, and it is a rugged speaker. We have a metal speaker grill surrounded by a high impact plastic frame and wrapped in an edge of cushioning rubber. On one edge, we have a zinc metal alloy ring. This is not removable, but it folds in and stays out of the way if you don't really want it. You can use this as a tabletop speaker. It is very stable. It has these four small feet, but I think the star of the show is this super strong magnet. I have been testing the strength of these magnets, and you can see that the black metal has already worn off the edges. This is a very strong magnet, perhaps one of the strongest I've seen in the industry. It will not dislodge accidentally. Behind this rear access panel, we have all of the external ports. 
There is a three and a half millimeter auxiliary input port, a TF card slot, and a USB-C charging port. If you see a rubber plug covering the external ports, you might ask yourself, is this speaker waterproof? And it is. This is IPX7 waterproof. And what that means is that you could submerge this speaker at a depth of three feet for 30 minutes. And whenever a speaker makes that claim, I do test it myself. And I can confirm that after 30 minutes submerged in water, this speaker still worked just fine. Beneath this metal grill, we have dual 20 watt full range drivers for a total of 40 watts of power. And in addition to that, we have a massive 65 millimeter passive radiator to help with the bass. I think most people would be happy with this speaker, but I will say that deep bass does bottom out at high volumes. And if you use this equalizer button, it just seems to make things worse. <laughs> and I, I don't know, you can, you can turn it off, you can use bass boost, you can use vocal boost. I would just leave it off because that's when it's going to sound its best. This speaker contains a 6,600 milliamp hour battery. That should be good for 30 hours of playback at 50% volume on a three hour charge. I should probably mention that this speaker also comes with what they call a strap. I call it a shoestring. If hands-free calling is a feature that is important to you, I think you will be disappointed with the Pilsimus CYB X3S. The person I was talking to sounded muddy and she said that I sounded muffled. I know you can do better. I am not a fan of the black on black, basically unlabeled buttons that are so difficult to use. However, these particular controls do have indentations for power and play pause. That's at least something to go on. I'm going to give the Pilsimus CYB X3S a four out of five star rating. It has nice features. I like it. it's waterproof. The magnetic mount is very nice. The connectivity options of the TF card slot and the three and a half millimeter auxiliary input port, very nice. It just suffers at high volume and that's gotta count for something. This is the McGolfin F30 and I would say this is the most interesting golf cart slash job site speaker that I have seen in a while. Let's just get it out of the way that I am not a fan of the black on black, basically unlabeled buttons that are so common on Bluetooth speakers. A little bit of ink would make this so much more usable. The F30 is very rugged and built to last. It's made out of high impact plastic and metal. Under this rubber panel, we have the external access ports, three and a half millimeter auxiliary input, USB-C charging port, and TF card slot. As you might have guessed, the McGolfin F30 is IPX7 waterproof. I tested this myself and can confirm that after 30 minutes submerged in water, the F30 still functioned normally. The McGolfin F30 comes with several mounting options, including tabletop mount. <laughs> Basically, you can set this on top of a table on these tiny feet. The next mounting option is the carabiner mount. The carabiner is recessed into the body of the F30, but you can easily pull it out by pressing here and grabbing the edge. The next mounting option is the handlebar mount. Now, include this mount, but you don't have to use this. You can use any standard threaded mount that would be compatible with a tripod, a DSLR, a camcorder, whatever you have, this will fit. The next mounting option is the magnetic mount. Now this is a very strong magnet. It's not like it's impossible to remove once you attach it, but it will be difficult to accidentally dislodge it. The F30 does support TWS mode, true wireless stereo, where you can wirelessly connect two of these speakers together for a true left and right channel experience at double the power. But it also supports something called CSB mode. I have heard other speaker manufacturers call this other terms, but you take three or more speakers and wirelessly connect them together for unlimited power. The F30 does have dual 48 millimeter, 15 watt full range speakers for a total of 30 watts. However, I suspect they underdrive the capabilities of these drivers to some degree 
because you don't get distortion in most cases. You may experience distortion if you are listening to music with deep bass and you have the extended bass button activated, then it, of course, you're, you're going to run into problems. The <laughs> extended bass button is not for songs that already have a lot of bass. It's to boost the bass for songs with weak bass. If you are a person that values hands-free calling on a Bluetooth speaker, the F30 has you covered. The voice quality on this is excellent. The McAlphin F30 has a 5,000 milliamp hour battery that should give you 24 hours of playback at 50% volume. The louder you play it, the shorter the battery. Another thing I should mention is that you can use the USB-C charging port as a power bank. I wouldn't have known what this is except that I just reviewed another speaker that has one, but still, it's a pretty rare feature. This is a bottle opener. In my opinion, McGolfin makes the best magnetic mount speakers on the market today, and the F30 is just another example of that fine tradition. If these buttons had contrasting ink on them and I can easily read and use them, I would give this a five out of five star, but I cannot do that. I cannot ignore this design flaw any longer. Four out of five stars. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you.